some of you who have been with me some time will know that I also build model boats as well as riding these Royal Enfield Hunters. And you're probably thinking to yourselves, there's not been much in the way of um, model boat stuff on this channel recently. Well, partly that's because the weather has been against us at the uh, pond where we sail our boats. But I've not been idle and uh, as well as riding the motorcycles, I've also been building this uh, model for a friend. And this friend said to me, could you build me a Clyde Puffer? And the Clyde Puffer is also called West Highland Puffer because it used to uh, ply the Crinan Canal and then out into the Western Isles. And these have got flat bottoms and they were able to run up onto the sands and unload their cargoes. It's rather like Amazon of its day, I suppose, it's delivering whatever you wanted at uh, these remote locations. So this is the Mount Fleet Models uh, Clyde Puffer, and it's around about 33, 34 inches long, and one thirty second scale, I believe. And the hull itself is made from a fiberglass very nicely moulded and the rest of it is comprises white metal parts of which are a 600 which you have to fit and that's a job for super glue which we have here there's a super glue and yes I have stuck my fingers together many times and also stuck them to the various components now these boats were immortalized by Neil Munro and this is the collected short stories. They appeared in the uh, Glasgow, I think it was a Glasgow um, newspaper, as a collection of short stories back in uh, the early part of the 20th century. Uh, the lovely stories. And Parahandy, that's, that's um, Gaelic for uh, Peter, Peter, son of someone or other. Um, so yet lovely stories and a delight to read. They also made, an, there was an Ealing comedy made of uh, these boats. Uh, the Parahandy boat was called The Vital Spark and it was a TV series, but the Maggie was the film version and that's, uh, highly, I highly recommend that to watch. It's in black and white, glorious black and white, very sharp, nice quality. So to get back to this model, this is where we are so far with all its uh, a lot of its white metal fittings done now there's also a lot of wood involved and this you have to make this part you have to make from the bits of wood that are supplied and in here oh, that's for the motor that's going to go in that's a torpedo 800 electric motor a lot of people fit uh, steam into these but we're having electric and uh, a steam generator to produce the steam and also a sound unit will go in there and this is the uh, that's the wheelhouse here and I've made the top removable so that uh, you can fit the binnacle and all the fittings in there so that's that part and then this is the, uh, the funnel and these uh, the reason they were called puffers is because they made a puffing sound originally when they first started plying their trades, and this is in the Crinan Canal area and the Clyde, that was uh, fresh water, the Crinan Canal. But very soon they realised they could actually sail out into the Western Isles, which was salt. And the water was originally taken from the canal for the steam engine. It wasn't a condensing engine. So later what they did, they fitted a condensing unit to these so that it reused the water and therefore it uh, kept the boiler in good condition if you put salt water into a boiler it wouldn't last very long so that's uh, they used to make this puffing sound because the steam used to come into the funnel rather like um, a steam locomotive does making that sort of noise so these are all the bits and pieces i've been fitting over the last uh, few days a few days <laughs> a few months uh, <clears throat> and that comes off there so that's the access there to the uh, remote control for the rudder unit which is at the back here i'll just show you that there we are that's a rudder right like that 
on here will be a bra big brass propeller and these are all the white metal fittings around the deck which will have to go in these uh, all fit in onto that deck part which isn't down yet that's going to be fitted little steps down to the uh, area there at the heads and that's what it's like inside so that's what we've been doing and uh, I'm feel, sure my friend Phil is he's very keen there's lots of uh, white metal parts to clean up because although they're nicely cast they do have a lot of flash on them from that casting process and Phil is doing the cleaning up of uh, some of those parts there's a big steam winch which has to go in that area there and uh, and I'm going to be giving him that to to clean up. So yes, that's what uh, that's what we've been doing here. So just to keep you informed, so I hope you see this on the water, not too far in the distance. I hope.